Hi, little adventurers. Here is Splashy, Shelly, and Finny. Today, we're going on a fun trip under the sea. Get ready for some cool facts and awesome things to learn. Our journey will take us beneath the surface of the Earth's vast and mysterious oceans. We will by understanding what an ocean is and then we'll voyage across the five oceans that blanket our planet. We'll meet the fascinating creatures that call these waters home and dive into the mysterious deep ocean where sunlight is a stranger. Together, we'll discover how oceans shape our weather, climate, and even own lives. And we'll learn about the crucial role we all play in protecting oceans. From the top of the sea to the very bottom, there's a lot to see and learn. So put on your pretend snorkels and fins because we're going on a super cool underwater adventure. Ready to jump in? Let's find out what an ocean is first. An ocean is a very big area of salty water that covers most of our planet, Earth. It's so large that you can't see the end of it from the shore. There are many different animals and plants that live in the ocean like fish, whales, and seaweed. The ocean is important because it helps control our weather and provides us with food and other resources. It's like a giant home for sea creatures and an important part of our world. Want to find out more about them? Keep watching! Let's start with the Pacific Ocean, the largest and deepest ocean on our planet. Covering more than 60 million square miles, it's larger than all of Earth's land area combined. But the Pacific isn't just big, it's also incredibly deep. Can you guess how deep the Pacific Ocean is? Give it a thought. Well, the Pacific Ocean reaches a staggering depth of about 36,200 feet at its deepest point, known as the Mariana Trench. That's nearly seven miles down. To put that into perspective, if you placed Mount Everest in the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be more than a mile underwater. Isn't that amazing? The Pacific Ocean, a world of its own, full of wonders and mysteries waiting to be explored. Next up is the Atlantic Ocean, the second largest ocean on our planet. Its name originates from Greek mythology, meaning the Sea of Atlas. The Atlantic Ocean covers more than 41 million square miles and separates the Americas from Europe and Africa. This vast water body has played a crucial role in history and continues to do so today. But do you know why the Atlantic Ocean is so important for trade? Well, with its strategic location, the Atlantic Ocean connects many major ports and cities across continents, facilitating global trade and commerce. Plus, it's home to some of the world's busiest shipping lanes. This makes the Atlantic Ocean not only a vital route for trade and travel, but also an ocean of great economic significance. Interesting, right? Now, let's delve deeper into the mysteries of the Indian Ocean in our next scene. Following the Atlantic, we journey to the third largest of the world's five oceans, the Indian Ocean. This ocean, named after the country of India, is known to be the warmest of all oceans and boasts a rich variety of marine life. Covering about 27 million square miles, the Indian Ocean spans from the southern tips of Africa and Asia to the northern edges of the Antarctic Ocean. It's a vast expanse of warm, tropical waters that are teeming with life. Now, can you name some animals that live in the Indian Ocean? If dolphins and whales came to your mind, you're right. But that's not all. The Indian Ocean is home to a wide array of creatures, including various types of turtles, sharks, and a myriad of fish species. Some of the most diverse coral reefs thrive in these warm waters, making it a paradise for divers worldwide. That's quite a variety, isn't it? But hold your breath as we're about to dive into the icy cold waters of the Arctic Ocean in the next scene. Leaving the warm waters of the Indian Ocean behind, we venture into the icy realms of the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean, the smallest and shallowest of the world's five major oceans, is a stark contrast to its counterparts. It's a world of ice and snow, covering an area of about 5.4 million square miles. So, what makes the Arctic Ocean unique? Unlike its siblings, the Arctic Ocean is mostly covered by sea ice, with varying extents depending on the season. The sea ice serves as a platform for polar bears, seals, and other Arctic wildlife, while the ocean itself is home to species like the narwhal, beluga whales, and various types of fish. 
The Arctic Ocean also plays a crucial role in our planet's climate, acting as a large white mirror that reflects sunlight back into space, helping to cool the Earth. Brrr, it's cold in the Arctic Ocean, but the journey doesn't end here. Next, we're headed to the Southern Ocean, the youngest of all oceans, so stay tuned. As we leave the icy realms of the Arctic, we dive into the Southern Ocean, also known as the Antarctic Ocean. This ocean is the newest named, recognized by the International Hydrographic Organization as an ocean in its own right, just in 2000. The Southern Ocean is the fourth largest ocean, covering about 20 million square kilometers. It is the only ocean that flows completely around the Earth, unimpeded by any landmass. This makes it a vital component in the global climate system as it circulates warm and cool waters around the planet. But why is the Southern Ocean so important? This ocean plays a significant role in the Earth's climate, absorbing a large amount of the heat and carbon dioxide produced by humans. This has led to it being called the lungs of the Earth. But that's not all. The Southern Ocean is also home to a variety of unique wildlife, including penguins, seals, and several species of whales. That's all five oceans. Each one is unique and full of wonders. Even small actions we incorporate into our daily lives can contribute to saving the ocean. It's not just about tackling major issues such as climate change and pollution. Keep the three R's in mind. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Cut down on your single-use plastics, such as straws and bags, Make it a habit to recycle whenever you can. Another method to save the ocean is by being good when we go to the beach. Always clean up after your visit and perhaps pick up some extra litter if you see it. We've had a great time exploring the oceans today. We've discovered how vast the oceans are, the creatures that inhabit them, their secrets, and how important they are to the planet. Let's continue learning and exploring. If you had fun exploring the oceans with us, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures with Splashy, Shelly, and Finny. Goodbye!